Well, hi! Looky here! Test your intuition and guess which of these statements are true. You know, our world is a wonderful place, full of funny, unexpected, and interesting things. We learn something new every day. Do you think you have enough common sense to guess which general facts are true and which are false? Well, let's test it! But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Turn on notifications as well, so you don't miss any of our new videos. Everything is simple. We'll give you a statement or ask you a question, and you have to guess whether it's true or false. You'll have just a few seconds to think about it. Ready? Then let's get started. Number 1. Let's start with an easy one. Here's your first fact. Chameleons change color to match their surroundings. True or false? Everyone knows this good old fact, but it's actually false. Chameleons change color as a response to certain factors, like temperature, communication, and light. It has nothing to do with where they are. <laughs> Be careful! These questions aren't as easy as you might think. And if you dodge that bullet, props to you. But don't relax, as there are more questions to come. Number 2. Right-handed people live longer than left-handed people. What do you say? Nope, this is just a popular myth that started with a couple of flawed reports. In 1988, Nature, a scientific journal, published a brief report showing a statistical difference in longevity between right-handed and left-handed people. The data for the report was gathered from professional baseball players. Later, these same authors published another study in the New England Journal of Medicine that demonstrated an even larger lifespan difference. Critics of these studies claim that the methods the authors used were seriously flawed. Other approaches confirm that lifespan and handedness are in no way related. So, all left-handers can happily sigh with relief. But third basemen really do live way longer than pitchers. No, that's not true either. I was just messing with you. Either way, three strikes and you're out. Number 3. Only female mosquitoes bite humans. Use your intuition to try and guess whether it's true or not. If your common sense told you that it's true, <laughs> congratulations, you're right! Male mosquitoes feed on flower nectar. Female mosquitoes, on the other hand, need the protein found in human and animal blood to reproduce. And so, they feed on us. <laughs> and by the way, if you've ever wondered why mosquitoes mostly bite you and no one else, there's an explanation for it. You're a sweetie. Well, no. It turns out that female mosquitoes have approximately 72 types of odor receptors, and 27 of them can recognize the octanol, nonanol, and carbon dioxide chemicals found in human sweat. People who have higher levels of these chemicals in their sweat get bitten way more often. It's as simple as that. Number 4. Keeping dogs as pets is banned in Iceland. Do you think it's true? Actually, it's kind of not anymore. It was the case in the 1920s, though, when this ban served as a measure to prevent a really long word that I just had to go look up. Echinococcosis, a type of tapeworm that can be passed from dogs to humans. Please don't ask me how that happens. Now, the situation has changed, and you can get permission to have a dog. According to the regulations, every dog has to be registered to both an address and an individual. The individual can have any animal abuse or criminal charges that might suggest that they would be using the dog as a guard or attack dog. Moreover, several guard dogs are banned completely. So having a dog isn't illegal in Iceland. Citizens just tend to go for cats. Number 5. At one point, Apple launched a clothing line. Try to make up your mind quickly! In fact, Apple did have a clothing line back in 1986, so if you guessed true, you were right! Just one year after Steve Jobs resigned as chairman, the company decided to give the Apple collection a go. It was a line of Apple-branded clothing, accessories, and lifestyle items, 
and it allowed fans to show their appreciation and love for the company. Just imagine what it would be like now. Who knows? Maybe someday, Apple will go back to this idea. Hey, we can all walk around in gray turtlenecks and jeans like Steve Jobs. Number 6. Is dog food taster an actual job? Oi, what do you think? Wow, this truly exists! All you have to do is taste dog food to make sure it meets the brand's quality standards, whatever those are. The typical salary for dog food tasters is $26,500 for an entry-level job in the quality department. However, it's possible to make even more if you're willing to not only taste the food, but also develop new recipes yourself. So give yourself another check if you got it right and a cross if you guessed incorrectly. Alrighty then, number 7. We as humans share 70% of our DNA with bananas. True or false? So what do you think? Is it a surprising truth or complete nonsense? The reality is that we do share DNA with bananas, but it's 50%, not 70%. By the way, can you spell all the letters of the word banana in the comments without another comment interrupting you? Let's see who will be able to do it first. Hey, for extra credit, do you know what the bright side and a banana have in common? Yes, we both have a peel. Okay, sorry about that. Let's move on. Number 8. The Guinness World Record set for the longest interval between the birth of twins is 87 days. Ooh, think about it. It's the true story of Maria Jones Elliott's birthing experience. Maria went into labor four months early and gave birth to Amy. But Katie arrived three months later. Doctors have told the family that it's a true miracle and that they achieved the medical equivalent of winning the lottery, with both girls alive and healthy. The previous record was 84 days, held by Peggy Lynn from Pennsylvania. Number 9. It rains diamonds on Jupiter and Saturn. Accurate or inaccurate? According to modern scientists, this is a fact. The BBC reported that new atmospheric data for the gas giants indicates that carbon is abundant in its dazzling crystal form. Plus, 1,000 tons of diamonds are created every year on Saturn alone. The biggest diamonds would very likely be just about a centimeter in diameter. Still, it's highly impressive and fascinating, right? Ooh, that also means there are carrots on Saturn too. Think about it. Number 10. You can marry a dead person in France. Is this a real fact or a fake one? Well, the ceremony would be pretty one-sided now, wouldn't it? Posthumous marriage is a legal procedure in France that allows citizens to marry a deceased person. Now, this sounds kind of wrong and a bit creepy, but there's a perfectly good explanation for it. It all started during World War I, when many women wanted to tie the knot with their deceased lovers. Now, the procedure has a strict set of rules. If you want to go ahead with a posthumous marriage, you have to send a request to the President of France. He then forwards it to the Justice Minister, who once again forwards it to the Prosecutor for the surviving member's district. If the couple originally planned to get married, and the family of the deceased approves of this as well, the Prosecutor sends the application back to the President. However, there's still a chance that it won't work, as one in four applications are rejected. Number 11. Is it illegal to be overweight in Japan? Think carefully. Well, for the most part, it's false. Sure, Japan has a strict policy concerning people's weight. It's called the Metabo Law. But it doesn't include actual imprisonment or anything severe like that. This law basically requires Japanese citizens between the ages of 45 and 74 to have their waistlines measured once a year. The Metabo Law affects men with waistlines larger than 35.4 inches and women with waistlines larger than 31.5 inches. 
People who fall into this category are encouraged to seek medical treatment to deal with the problem. So, no going to jail or anything like that for overweight Japanese people. Apparently, sumo wrestlers have their own set of rules. Number 12. In the 1830s, ketchup was sold and used as medicine. Yes or no? Well, it's hard to believe, but it really is true. Originally, ketchup was a concoction of fish and mushrooms. However, in 1834, when it was published that tomatoes solved digestion problems, Dr. John Cook Bennett added tomatoes to ketchup for more nutrients and antioxidants. He claimed that this new ketchup could cure diarrhea, indigestion, and rheumatism. He made his sauce into an extract and started selling tomato pills. All this turned into a true ketchup war, though, when copycats started to sell their own tomato pills as well. This ended only in the 1850s, when most authorities debunked ketchup as a hoax. Ketchup will, however, cure the lonely french fry. Number 13. Birds are related to dinosaurs. Ridiculous or true? It's your call! Of course, it's false. Birds aren't related to dinosaurs. They are dinosaurs. You see, all dinosaur groups really did become extinct. But one of them survived and went on to become all the birds we see today. Modern paleontology indicates that birds evolved from Saurischian dinosaurs and may have started to emerge about 150 million years ago, well before the invention of ketchup. But that's not all. You can also say that birds are reptiles. In modern biology, scientists follow phylogenetic classification, which divides animals into groups by their ancestry. And in this reptile category, they're most closely related to crocodiles. Ooh, that's mind-blowing! Number 14. You can't snore and dream at the same time. Reality or just a myth? This one is still a big mystery to us. Do you know the right answer? Hey, my dog Riley can do both. But what about you? What are your thoughts on this? Is it possible to do both? Share your opinions in the comments below, and let's try to find the truth together. So, what's the most shocking and surprising thing you've learned recently? Tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a like and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.